Hi there, I'm David from DoD Media. Today we're going to be looking at how you can mix audio in Premiere Pro. Now there's sort of three different ways, I think, that you can do this. There's the quick and dirty way, there's the slightly more convoluted way, and then there's the it's entirely down to how confident you feel with your mouse way. So let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so in Premiere, I've set up a sequence and I've just used color mats because I couldn't really be bothered to bring footage into this, but color mats will work fine for the purpose of this. So I've got a blue color mat, a red color mat, and a blue color mat. Now, in this scenario, I'm gonna imagine that the red color mat is an interview with a person, and the blue color mats are B-roll footage. So what I wanna have is a nice level of music playing during the B-roll, and then I want it to drop in, in level, in gain or whatever, in levels before or just as that speaker is starting to speak. And I want that level to remain low while the speaker is speaking and then come back up, ramp back up just as the second layer of B-roll and as the interview segment is finishing. So there's a few ways to do this. The quick and dirty way that I mentioned is simply selecting the clip uh, the music clip, I mean the audio clip, and cutting it. You can do that with Control or Command K, or you can press C and it'll bring up your razor blade and you can cut along wherever you want. But Control or Command K is a nice quick shortcut. It'll cut whatever clips are um, selected here within the track selection. All right. So this is the way you can do it. You can cut that and then cut that, and then you can cross dissolve those. So do shift command or shift control D and that'll do a, add a little cross dissolve in there. And then move along to the next one, shift control, shift command D. Cool. And then just hit that middle clip, hit G on the keyboard and it'll bring up your audio gain. And then you can drop the audio gain by say 15 decibels when the person's talking. And that way you get this clip that plays like this. B-roll, B-roll, all sounds great, B-roll, and then blah, 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 interview, 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 great, that's cool, lovely, I'm just going to skip ahead, and then it ramps back up. There you go. That's the quick and dirty way to do it. Now, let me just delete these and drag that back out. The second way to do this is actually using keyframes. So if you scroll uh, down on your, on your mouse or on your trackpad or whatever, uh, you'll actually extend this view to the point where you see this white line and that dot there. That's what you want uh, for this specific thing. So like the cross dissolve, we're going to make it a few frames before. So I'm going to hold shift and press the left arrow, which is going to move back uh, five frames. So I'm gonna move back maybe 15 frames. Actually, maybe move back 10 there. Next up, what we're gonna do is see this little circle here. I'm just gonna press add, remove keyframe. And that's not working because the clip needs to be selected. So once the clip is selected, you see that becomes highlighted. So you press that and you see a little node forms itself there. Okay, then go back to the cut and then go, you know, five, 10 frames after the cut and press a node again. And then all you need to do is drag that down. Let's go for 15 decibels again, uh, 1420, that'll do. Okay, and then let's do the same over here. So shift left twice, da -da -da, shift right twice, plop a keyframe and back up to zero. Bang, okay. Now it's basically gonna be the same as the as the cross dissolve, it's gonna be a very constant change. What you can do is select each of these and then right click on it and just hit auto bezier. And what that's gonna do is ramp it down slightly. And then you can see that it's not just a, a linear line, it's really kind of easing in and easing out of that transition. That's really gonna help you feel like this thing was mixed manually. You would have a bunch of faders on a console that you would mix manually. And everyone does this on a click of a mouse now, except if you're in a massive studio. So this is just quite a nice way of adding that little touch that makes it feel like a person is still controlling it. 
So blah, 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 blah. Interview, great, cool, lovely. And now if you think that the audio levels are dropping too low here, you can actually adjust the handles on that auto bezier. So if you zoom in to your clip there, you can see you've got some handles like that. So what you can do is just balance it out a bit so that that clip remains straight. Okay, now let's go to the next one there and do the same thing. Okay, and there, there. And now it's not really gonna drop too much. It's not gonna get too low. Okay, and that's that's sort of the the more convoluted way. And then finally, the next way to do this, the final way that I think I would recommend, uh, let's just select those, delete them, there we go. No more keyframes, don't need the keyframes. Next way to do that is actually come up to audio, okay, and where you have track mixer, you select the track that you want to affect. So this one is track one, okay. And then this little automation mode panel, just put that on touch, okay? Now what's gonna happen when I do this? If I press play, the audio remains constant, right? But if I click and drag this fader and keep it down here for a little bit, if I let go, it's gonna work its way back up, which isn't what you want, so I'm gonna keep it down here, okay? And we'll wait for the interview segment to finish. And there we go. Now, what's interesting about that is that you don't see the keyframes immediately here unless you drop this down and go track keyframes and look at volume. And then here you see all of these keyframes that were created when I just dragged that down. So it's, it's a very nice tool if you're feeling confident in using your, your mouse to, to use this, to use these faders. There you go. You've got no excuse for having poor levels on your audio tracks anymore. If you like what you saw, please share, subscribe, do whatever, dance around. That's cool, bring the rain. Awesome. We'll see you soon.